Hello, everybody. My name is Christoph Lindner, and I am the Dean of the Bartlett Faculty of the Built Environment here at UCL. And I want to welcome all of you to the Bartlett Autumn Show. This is a show that features the work of nearly 200 students from two very distinctive master's program at the Bartlett School of Architecture. That is the program in landscape architecture and the program in architecture and historic urban environments. Each of these programs has developed and grown in recent years in really interesting, innovative ways, academically, intellectually. And each of these programs has a very uh, robust design presence, design life. And then you're going to see that today in the shows. So I want to congratulate our students for the fantastic, amazing work that they have created. I want to thank our teaching staff and all the staff at the school for supporting our students and enabling this show. I want to welcome all of our online visitors. Uh, fantastic to have you with us. And most of all, I want to invite everybody to please dive in deeply into our students' work, explore, spend time, and uh, please discover what it is that makes the Bartlett School of Architecture a very special place. So congratulations to our students. Over to you, Bob. Thank you, Christoph. Um, my name is Bob Shill. I'm the director of the School of Architecture. I just want to add a few words to what Christoph has just said and echo everything that he said. Uh, what I think uh, we want to consider here for a moment or two is how important these programmes are. Um, we're here to celebrate their work. We're here to enjoy it. We're here to be inspired by it. But I think one of the key conversations that runs through this exhibition and through the content of these programmes are some very serious questions about, about the future of the built environment. So we're very, very excited and very proud to have, in the first instance, the Landscape Architecture Programme uh, on board as a new programme in the school, getting us to be able to reach out into questions about climate change, into uh, land use, land ownership, uh, race and social justice, um, the design of um, hinterlands between cities and landscapes. Uh, and not only that, but the technical kind of issues that, that kind of ride through all of those challenges uh, in terms of biodiversity and horticulture. So uh, the other thing about that is the way in which this program has brought new expertise into the school. So there are landscape architects now working in our community, informing not just this program, but all of the other programs in the school too. So I think that's an amazing thing to have happened. And I just want you to bear that in mind as you surf through the work. The other program, uh, Architecture and Historic Urban Environments is a little bit older, it's still relatively new. I think it's around its seventh year, sixth or seventh year. Uh, amazing concept behind the program to my mind. Uh, and such a timely program, you know, in, in many parts of the, of the planet, cities have kind of reached capacity. And what we're looking at on this program is how we deal with what we've already got, what we, how we handle the building stock that's already there. And that talks not only to notions of history and value and heritage and appreciation, but also, you know, the embedded carbon footprint of all of that stock. And it's great to see how this program is influencing practice. So it's not a program, say, for accredited architectural education, but it's certainly a program that's asking questions of the profession. And, and, and this balance between theory and design that runs across both programs very strongly is um, deeply important to us as a school. So as Christoph has said, uh, we'd like to congratulate all the students and the staff for an amazing year's work. And, uh, and, and just wish you the best of luck in the journeys ahead of you. If you're a visitor just joining this show uh, off the internet randomly, you're very welcome, you know, you know ride your way through this uh, amazing uh, constellation of projects and enjoy it. And think about those thoughts our students have had and where they're going next, because that's what we're most excited about of all. So well done, enjoy the show. Uh, we're, we're, we're gonna be there with you too. We are now in Glasgow. Hello from London. Hello from Glasgow.
from Li Shui, China. Hello from China. Hello from China. Hello from Barcelona. Hello from Zhejiang. Hello from Anhui. Hello from Confucius hometown, Qifu. Hi, I'm Nara from Germany. Hello everyone, here is Beijing, China. Hello from Hong Kong. Hello from Beijing, China. Hi from Athens. From Beijing, China. Hello from China. Hello from Xi'an, China. Hello from London. Hello from China, Shanghai. Hello, this is Zhou Yu from Shanghai, China. Hi, this is Anu. And this is Nadine. And we're, we're in, in London. London. Hello, Hello from China. China. And hello from me. I'm Edward Dennison. I'm the director of the MA Architecture and Historic Urban Environments here at the Bartlett School of Architecture. And it's my great pleasure to warmly welcome you all to the, our segment of the Autumn Show, which we proudly share with the Landscape Architecture programmes. Last year was by any measure an extraordinary year with the global pandemic forcing teaching online and students to stay in their homes. More than half of our cohort had committed to coming to London to experience this peculiar city at a most peculiar time. While others took an enormous personal and intellectual challenge of studying a full-time masters remotely from homes around the globe. The collective response was truly extraordinary. Together, we managed to not only get through, but to succeed. The experience has taught us all a great deal to value the little things, the fleeting moments and social interactions. Together, we shared these experiences and created memories by congregating informally online, by exploring hundreds of kilometres of London on foot and through exhibitions and galleries, and later by venturing out to other sites and cities, such as Brighton, Bath and Bristol, Rye and Derek Jarman's cottage at Dungeness. The work presented in the autumn show bears testimony to our students' resilience and determination to succeed under the toughest conditions. It's a fitting celebration of their accomplishments and testament to an exceptional lesson that will serve them well, not only as they go into professional practice, but also throughout their lives. If the MA Architecture and Historic Urban Environments Programme does one thing above all else, it is to instill in our graduates the capacity to learn the necessary lessons from the past to build a better future. The COVID-19 pandemic has been a seminal and brutal lesson, but it pales in comparison to the planetary crises we now face and which our graduates will confront in their professional lives. We hope their time at the Bartlett and on this program in particular has equipped them to become future leaders in their respective fields and to bring about the change that's so desperately and urgently needed. On behalf of all the staff associated with the Mayhew programme then, I want to take this opportunity to thank and applaud all our students. You've been inspiring, uplifting and utterly brilliant. We're so proud of what you've achieved and wish you all every success in your respective futures. Before we hand over to the Landscape Architecture programmes, though, I'd like to remind you all that six of our students will be giving short Instagram readings from the final projects over the next two weeks, so please do tune in. On the 4th of November, from 7 until 8pm, we have Rasha Safarini, Yue Chu, and Tale Kanghal. And on the 11th of November, from 7 to 8pm, we have Francisca Pimental Fuentes, Xinxin Liu, and Nadine Hamid. So thank you to all of you, those of you that contributed to this exhibition, to the Instagram readings, and until then, take good care everyone, and goodbye. I'm Mark Smout. And I'm Laura Allen, and we're the co-directors of the Landscape Architecture Programmes at the Bartlett. Thank you so much for joining us online to celebrate the work of our students this year from both the MLA and MA Landscape Architecture programmes. This show celebrates our third year, and we hope you agree that we're going from strength to strength. This year, we also received full Landscape Institute accreditation for both programmes, so that our graduates have now made the first steps on the professional pathway towards chartership. 
The Landscape Architecture programmes add to the Bartlett suite of professional accredited programmes and are driven by an increasing urgency for built environment professionals to respond to ecological and environmental issues. In this era of climate emergency, our programmes that focus on landscape research, technical knowledge, strategic thinking and imaginative design give us the unique ability to work with real world problems such as sustainability, climate change, biodiversity and landscape inequality. This Autumn Show website showcases the work of our 10 design studios that comprise the core of landscape design teaching, staffed by landscape practitioners, architects, urban designers and academics with distinct agendas. Their interests are broad and varied, addressing numerous speculative grounds for designing a better future and encouraging students to develop their own approach to the practice of landscape architecture. Themes included experimentation with multi-species design, considering humans and non-humans in urban contexts, adaptive strategies for designing with dynamic coastal systems, the study of weather and landscape design under new climate regimes, future strategies for today's extraction landscapes, and experimentation with scripting for generative and critical design, just to mention a few. The interest of the 10 studios are evidence of the breadth and depth of landscape architecture's spatial and intellectual focus here at the Bartlett. Let's listen to some short messages now from our teaching staff. Congratulations to all Studio One students for successfully completing the year. You've done so well and we wish you best of luck for your future. Congratulations to all of the Bartlett Landscape students, especially Studio Two. You have all done some incredible work around terrain vague sites, urban voids, and exploring the question, how much design is enough? Congratulations, well done. Hi Studio 4, this year your project scattered all over the world and deal with some really key issues. We hope that you've developed your personal interest as well and continue to look into them. Well done, despite a really abnormal year, it's been a pleasure teaching you. Dear Studio 5, we had a great time designing with you for neighbors and strangers. Keep looking out for neighbours and strangers and good luck for your future. Studio 5, you were fantastic. It was an absolute pleasure working with you, each of you, your imagination, your humour and your effort was fantastic. Good luck with the future. Hi everyone, um, I just wanted to say congratulations to all the landscape students this year for all your hard work and for putting together this exhibition. It was a pleasure to teach all of our students in Studio 6 this year. Um, thank you for your hard work. We are particularly amazed at how well all of you adapted to the online learning this year and all the challenges that this presented. And we are really looking forward to seeing how all your careers progress in the future. Well done all. Huge congratulations to all students exhibiting in the autumn show and an especially big congratulations to Landscape Studio 7. It's been a real pleasure getting to know you all and you should be very proud of the work each of you produced under such challenging circumstances. Certainly a year to remember. Hi everyone, and well done to all the students who made it through this tough year. It's going to be really exciting to see your work exhibiting at the Autumn Show. Congratulations especially to our Studio 7 students, Bingui, Georgia, Hao Miao, Hu Yu, Ming Zhang, Na, Junda, Paloma, Theo, Iling, Yui and Yu Meng. Thanks for all your effort and looking forward to seeing your future developments. Congratulations to all of the students on the landscape course, and in particular our students in Studio 8. Over the last year, Kirsty and I have thoroughly enjoyed working with you, exploring weather and the lasting effects these temporary occurrences have on our landscapes. You should all take great pride in the work you produce this year, and we wish you all the best for the future. Hi Design Studio 9. We want to congratulate you on the fantastic work you've produced this year in challenging circumstances. We have thoroughly enjoyed learning about the landscapes of Abruzzo with you and around what it means to live on unstable ground. Hello Studio 10, just wanted to say a big congratulations on getting through this extraordinary year. You all did amazingly well and we're really proud of the work you produced and I hope you are too. To those of you graduating, I wish you the best of luck in everything you're going on to do next and those of you staying on in the Bartlett, have a great year and I hope to see you around. We've already embarked on a new year with a smashing group of students and staff and we're thrilled to be back teaching face to face. We continue to develop our teaching, research and practice networks, which has had a positive effect on the diversity of the programme's reach, allowing us to encompass the greatest scope of design, technological, cultural, environmental and ecological investigation. 
We've new design studios and we'll be showcasing as much as possible on our Instagram account alongside notices of our open events, so please keep an eye on all the social media. So once again, thank you to all our students and staff during this different year. Such great projects and good memories. We are profoundly impressed by how swiftly you adapt to working at home, to online teaching, digital whiteboards and contributing to virtual crits as we all work remotely throughout the year. And a big friendly wave and a good luck in the future to all our, all our outgoing students this year. We're going to miss you all and hope to follow your progress. Do stay in touch. Thanks for staying tuned and we wish you all the best. <laughs>